In this video, I will show you how easy it is to create a dark mode using React and Tailwind. We are going to create this simple website with a background color and some text and this dark mode button. When you click on it, we change to dark mode and we also dynamically change the text inside this button as well. And as you may notice, it doesn't happen really quickly. We have a smooth transition between the light and dark mode. I will be explaining every single line of code, so let's get into it. So here I have this empty React project with Tailwind inside of it. If you don't know how to create a React project and add Tailwind into it, you can click on the card and watch this video where I create this responsive navigation bar. At the beginning of that video, I create everything from scratch and you can learn how to create a React project with Tailwind. So coming back to this one, we already have this empty div. I will create another div, which is going to be a container. Let's set the minimum height to 100VH. So this div covers the entire page. I will make this one a flex container and change the flex direction to column. Center the items. We are going to have three items inside, which is going to be a h1, a paragraph, and the button. So let's put some gap between them as well. Let's center the text and set the font to mono space. And inside this div, let's create a h1 with the text dark mode. Let's add a break, react and tailwind. Let's increase the font weight and text size. And right under this h1, let's have a paragraph with a large text. Padding on the left and right is going to be 32, which is going to be equal to 8 rem. Let's create a lorem text and put a break in here. And after this paragraph, let's have this button, which is going to say dark mode. Let's give it a padding of 3 on the top and the bottom, and a padding of 5 on the left and on the right. Let's give it rounded corners. Let's increase the font weight and give it a border. And when you hover over it, we are going to make it just a little bit bigger. So scale 105. And let's give it a transition for the hover effect as well. Duration of the transition is going to be 300 to make it smooth. And we are done with creating a basic template for the dark mode. Now we can create the logic. So to be able to create a dark mode, we are going to use use state hook because switching between light mode and dark mode inside a website is basically a state. So let's create a state, which is going to be dark mode and a setter function set dark mode. And let's make it equal to use state. As you can see, VS Code automatically imports use state from React. If it doesn't happen for you, just type this down. So the website is going to be set to light mode by default. So I will put a false inside use state. So the dark mode will have the current state, which is false at the moment. And this means the website is set to light mode by default. And this setter function is basically responsible for updating this current state, which is at the moment light. And using this function, we are going to change this to true, which will make the website turn into the dark mode. To be able to use this setter function, I will create another function, which is going to be toggle dark mode. Let's use set dark mode. We are going to put this function into this button. So it is going to reverse this current state. So if it's the dark mode, it is going to reverse it to the light mode. And if it's the light mode, it is going to reverse it to the dark mode. Let's create a on click event handler and put this function inside. Also, let's make this text dynamic. So if it's the dark mode, it is going to say light. 
and if it's the light mode it is going to say dark so right now all we need to do is to define some styling for the dark mode to each of these elements inside the website but before that we also need to go into the tailwinds config file and we basically need to activate this dark mode feature of tailwind by setting it to a class so coming back into the app.jsx file inside this container div I will open up a set of curly braces and use backticks because we are going to be applying some logic inside here so when you switch to the dark mode the background is going to be black and we also need to add this if statement so if the dark mode is true it is going to be dark so again dark mode is the current state so if it's true we are going to apply this dark class into the container div if it's true it is going to delete it let's also reverse the colors of this text as well let's select this div so when it's dark the background is going to be background black the h1 when it becomes dark the text is going to be white we can basically copy and paste this into this paragraph as well and this button as well the text is going to be white and also the border let's put some space in here and also this is not going to be set dark mode it is going to be toggle dark mode so before we check if everything is working fine let's do a quick recap of what we did first we have this basic container with some text and a button inside we have used a if statement for this container if the dark mode is true the background is going to be dark and if it's not it is going to stay as white this background as well and this text is going to turn into white and the buttons text and the border is going to be white as well we also dynamically change the text inside this button if the dark mode is activated it is going to say light mode and if it's the opposite it is going to say dark mode and each time you click on this button you call this toggle dark mode function which is a function that uses a setter function created by this use state we have the current state and the setter function that updates this current state which starts with a white background which is the light mode that is why we set it to false and when you click on this button and call this function it changes this current state and reverses it to true which makes the website dark and there is only one thing left which is to make the transition smoother we can do it by applying a transition to every single element inside this page but it will take too much time so we will go into the main index.css file and i will select everything inside the page and apply a styling which is going to be transition colors and duration 300 and this is going to basically apply this transition to every single element inside the page and as you can see when you click on this button we switch between the dark mode and the light mode it happens really smoothly we have the dynamic text inside the button as well and this is how we can create dark mode using react and tailwind i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you for your time and i will see you next time